Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is gonna be a little different. Um, I just started playing this game, okay? I just started playing it yesterday, and I immediately got into it. This game is actually really fun, and I just want to give it a try. So what we're playing is Ubs are Demodded, and we're just trying to farm for the stand that I've been looking for. So, the stand that I'm trying to get is... The stand that I'm trying to get is Gold Experience, uh, Golden Wind, you know. I, I looked on the Trello, and that thing actually looks really good, so... Alright, I'll be back when I get gold experience. Oh, come on. It's already been like five minutes. Why is it so hard to get gold experience? It should not be this hard. Really, it shouldn't. And I pulled a star platinum. Oh my god. Well, might as well make the best of it. Oh, come on, please. The, literally, the shiny arrow never ever works. I've tried it 10 times, maybe 20 already. And it literally hasn't worked. Literally every attempt I try, it literally never works. Watch. It's not gonna work. Yep, it's rigged. Never waste your money on a shiny arrow. Literally, it's the worst thing you could do. Well, back to the grind. You know, I always thought of really good ideas for this game. All the sands just give me good ideas. Like, if you just think about it and a bunch of ideas just come to your mind. Like, ooh, I want that one. Ooh, I want this one. But, you know, game devs aren't really open about it, so you just gotta accept, accept what you got. Oh, come on. Doesn't even show the ability name. Oh, it's White Snake. Oh, no, it's just ability. That's it. I really don't want any of these. Gold experience is 7% chance from the arrow, which actually should not be that hard compared to most other things you could get. Like King Crimson Alternate Universe. What's this? Oh, the world. Yeah. No, thank you. The world is trash in my eyes, literally. It's just... It's just... I don't even know what to say about it. I don't want to flame it, though. Which is probably what I was about to do. Oh my god, I pulled another Star Platinum. I don't want it. I seriously don't want it. This is the third time in a single video that I've gotten Star Platinum. I don't want it. <laughs> Oh my god! Literally, quit it. The game's trying to tell me something, I swear. I don't know if they're trying to tell me that it's good or bad. The game's talking to me, guys. What do I do? Crazy Diamond actually isn't that bad of a stand. Like, I, I'm i pretty sure it's just very over... Not overrated. What am I, stupid? It's underrated. Everybody just seems to not like it. And I, I just think Crazy Diamond's actually a really good stand. But I'm trying to go for... Like, the reason why I'm not keeping Crazy Diamond is I'm just trying to get something that's as good as Crazy Diamond, but just has bigger value. Like, you know, like, what if they had, like, a Crazy Diamond Requiem or something, like, or Crazy Diamond Over Heaven? That'd be sick. That'd actually be really cool. Oh my god, fifth time in one video. My friend Gloomy, or Kalrog, he, uh, he gave me a Jodoro's hat for free and let me try out True Star Platinum. And my dumb self fruited it because I didn't like it. And I didn't even... I forgot that I could actually bring alt accounts in here. So I just wasted a freaking... I just wasted a Jotaro hat. That's great. You know, now that I look at the time recording, I've been recording for 10 minutes. And I have not pulled at least one gold experience. Not even one. Is this supposed to be this hard? I keep pulling a 2% chance stand. I'm not, not a 7% chance stand at all, like, seriously? None? Am I supposed to just be lucky? With a 7% chance? Because I don't know, like, I'm getting Star Platinum, but it's what I don't want. I don't, I don't know if that's lucky or not. It's like, 
<laughs> winning the lottery and you don't want to win it. And then you're like, oh my god, what do I do? Do I throw the lottery ticket away or do I just get the money? And obviously you'd get the money. You know, these... These stands and these maps and everything, these really bring me back to the good old days of a bizarre day. I remember when I first played a bizarre day. When I first played a bizarre day, I actually never knew what JoJo is at all. But it was that exact map. And my first ever stand that I pulled was higher from green, and I was like, huh, how do I use this? What do I do? And I got killed by someone. I left the game because I didn't know how to play at all. And that's how my first up as our day days went. And then my friend Worth over here. I mean, I don't even know if we're friends anymore, but whatever. My friend Worth, um, she actually got me back into a bizarre day, and he showed me how beautiful the game could possibly be. And I realized, wow, this game really isn't that bad after all. So then I started playing it, and the first ever stand that I mained in that game was D4C. Man, the good old days. It's been 15 minutes and I haven't gotten gold experience yet. Oh my god, kill me please. I literally pulled Star Platinum five times in one video. And nothing, nothing, nothing. This video is going to be a long one, and when it comes to long videos, it comes to really big time to edit him. <sighs> and if I get gold experience, and I use the Requiem arrow, and I get gold experience Requiem, I'm... I don't even know at this point. I just might stick with the Star Platinum. Or maybe I can just trade for it? I don't know. I really don't know value. And I'm not going to look at a tier list, because tier lists are just people's opinions. And tier lists are never anybody's help at all. It always... Value is always just varied. Everybody thinks value is one thing when it's really the other. Like, hey, I think this is much more valuable than that. No, you're so wrong. But, you know, people... It's impossible to go through life without at least making one opinion. You gotta make at least one throughout your entire lifetime. Ah, oh, great. Who's calling me? Hey, dude, I'm making a video right now. Make it quick. H hello? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I'm recording on Roblox. What do you need? Wait, what are you recording now? I'm recording on Roblox. But what is it on Roblox that you are recording? But you don't play Roblox. I have Roblox. But do you play it? Sometimes. <laughs> I was literally playing it like about a week ago. Uh, what game? Uh, I don't keep- I don't keep up with that. Okay, well, um, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> no, 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 you're gonna keep me in this recording. Okay. Also. Well, guys, please welcome KGH7. Yes, sup, Pog. Yeah, and, uh, he's gonna be here just talking, I guess. You know, I'm trying to make, like, a xylanox style video, you know? Layout. I've started this video maybe an hour ago, and I haven't pulled the sand that I'm looking for. There! God dang it! I finally got it! Wait, really? I finally- Alright, Requiem Arrow, just screw it. I don't want to waste any time. Just use it. Uh, I got gold experience Requiem, of course I did. Well guys, uh, the reason why, well guys, the reason why this video was about me wasting about an hour on grinding for a stand that I never got. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and stuff, promotion and stuff. And go check out KG, he's pretty chill too. Or maybe I could just put your channel in the description. Uh, you won't, you won't do it. Alright, see you guys later, and have a fun day.